Kevin Aloxley knows what it's like to be an outlaw, so he brought with him today another game featuring an outlaw, and that game is Squeeze Box for your Atari 2600. And evidently in this game, the bricks from Breakout have decided to become superheroes, taking on the bad guys. Oh my. Let's go ahead and take Squeeze Box. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro System and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pow! Squeezebox was published by U.S. Games, the Quaker Oats Company, and carries a copyright year of 1982. It was programmed by Henry C. Will IV, who also programmed Commando Raid for the 2600, which are reviewed in episode 427. The manual opens with the following. Squeezebox is the ultimate escape game. Our pistol pack and jailbird has got to shoot like crazy to knock out an escape route through the walls before they close in on him. The longer it takes, the faster they come, so aim carefully. Carefully, but don't rush out too fast because the next room is worse and you're getting points for each block you shoot out. Test your endurance. Wait too long and you might touch the wall. Three touches and it's all over, except for the hottest finish you've ever encountered in a video game. Squeeze Box is a single screen action game for one player only and has six game variations. In the first game variation, squeeze bars grow from both sides of the room. You must shoot them back and try and create an opening big enough for you to escape into the next room. In the second game variation, the squeeze bars only grow from one side. Your goal in this game variation is to shoot all the moving bars all the way back to the side and make them turn white. In game three, once again the squeeze bars only grow from one side of the wall. However, the other wall will now begin to move in on you. Like game one, you once again want to create an opening big enough to escape. This variation also has blinking color bars that can be shot for extra points. Games 4 through 6 are just like games 1 through 3, except now there's twice as many bars. The difficulty switches also affect the game. When the left difficulty switch is in the A position, the bars will move faster than when it's in the B position. When the right difficulty switch is in the B position, you have automatic fire, but you have manual fire when it's in the A position. For the controls, you use the joystick to move your guy around and press the button to fire using manual fire. To adjust the angle of your gun, you must hold the button down and press up or down on the joystick. Scoring wise, you get 10 points for shooting a color bar, 20 points for shooting a blinking color bar, and 100 points for making a path and walking to the next room. In games 1 and 4, if you shoot all the blocks and walk to the next room, you will get an extra life, up to a maximum of 3. If a block touches you in any of the rooms, you lose a life. Graphically speaking, this game is one of the better looking games on the system, with colorful bars and a nice large character. Squeezebox also has some fantastic music. Family friendly wise, your character is a crook and he smokes, but the game does teach you that crime doesn't pay in the end. And in the end, you will get this bizarre ending that either represents your character burning up in the underworld, or the devil coming to get you. Or maybe something else, it's not really that clear. Perhaps you're in some sort of purgatory you can never escape, oh my. With all that being said, I think this game might get an E10 up rating if it was released today. At the time I researched on eBay and clean shipping, loose copies were going for $5 and complete copies were going for $20 to $22. So what did I think of Squeezebox? It looks nice, it sounds nice, but it's so very, very boring to play. You don't have much room to move in, which makes the game feel pretty cramped. And aiming is a bit of a chore, especially since the gun doesn't show the angle you're shooting. But overall, this game simply gave me no enjoyment whatsoever. So where am I going to rank Squeezebox? This one's going to be another contender for the worst game on my list. I will put it over the likes of Karate and Spike's Peak, but I would rather play Artillery Duel at 167. So out of the 170 games I've now ranked on the Atari 2600, Squeezebox is squeezing in between a pair of Zonix Double Ender games at the 168 position. Squeeze this box looks great and sounds great, but sadly isn't any fun. But that is only one guy's opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. And check out some of my many other videos covering retro video games, toys, mini arcades, plug and plays, and more. At this time, I'd like to thank the SNES Podcast for supporting the show on Patreon. Thank you. You too can help support the show, gain access to exclusive content, and be able to vote on future games I review by signing up at patreon.com slash nosweargamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Noswear Gamer. Take care and remember, crime doesn't pay.